So this is about a racist Karen who was berating Dunkin' Donuts employees. Um, she was even worse before I started to record. I snapped on her but had to shut up because I'm six months pregnant. What an awful and disgusting human being made me so mad because these people work so hard to start our days off right and don't deserve this treatment. Um, so this is the individual who uploaded this. Um, now, we don't know what prompted this psychopath to treat these employees this way, but oftentimes, you know, it's something small. Um, but, I mean, regardless, there's absolutely no justification for this kind of behavior, right? Uh, children, perhaps, might behave this way, but adults, no, this is not okay. But watch the way she berates these minimum wage workers. It, it's just infuriating. I want it on your ass. I want it in chat. So, I don't know if you just heard that. Sorry, I'm, I want to make sure you get that. She just told them that she's going to call ISIS on them. Um, first of all, this is proof that racism and stupidity go hand in hand. Because I think that she means she's going to call ICE. But why are you going to call ISIS on them? What did they do? Well, it's because they're not white. So that's that's her gotcha right there. Oh, Brown got to call ISIS. Like, lady, do you not realize how fucking stupid you sound? I want to call ISIS on your ass. I want it in cash. Where's the fucking receipt? Not playing your goddamn game. And then get me back my fucking donuts. I paid for them, they're mine. Channel 4. Yep. You're going to be on the fucking news. You're going to be glad about this. Is that for Alexis? Is that mine, Alexis? You're not going to give me Black my bag? Why is coffee extra extra with caramel? God damn it. Take up my card now. I said, pick up my Bank of America card. It's right fucking there. You drive it. You pay it. I'm going nowhere, bitch. You suck my dick. I wish I wasn't pregnant. I would beat this lady the fuck up right now. Is that really pisses me off? I can't keep my I can stand here all fucking day, bitch. Large ice cream, extra, extra, caramel. Is that it? Alexis? Yep, that's fine. My Thank you so much. Right there on the floor. Right there. Wow. So where to begin? Um, first of all, as you all saw, she in her tantrum threw her card and then she demanded that they pick up the card. Get my card, bitch. I mean, it doesn't get more entitled than that. And look, I can't not feel a little bit aggravated that all of these people were around and nobody intervened to defend the employees. Like I understand as somebody who's really conflict averse and I try to mind my own business and keep my head down when I'm in public, I feel like, how could you not defend the employees there? They're just getting berated. And this Karen is not getting pushback from anyone else in line. And, you know, somebody's recording it. Um, but I mean, I mean, maybe, uh, I don't know if uh, Alexis works there. So maybe she doesn't work there, you know, and she's recording it. So she like almost snapped. So perhaps she was confronted. So we don't necessarily have the full context, but you'd like to see somebody step in and say, listen, ma'am, this is not acceptable. Talking to them like that is very disrespectful. Your racism is not okay. Like, like anything, right? But she was just running her mouth for two minutes and, and longer than that because, you know, 
they didn't get to record this right away. So it's just, this is what fast food workers have to deal with. And every single fast food employee or retail worker, anyone who works with the general population has experienced something to this effect. Like where somebody's just screaming at you for no good reason. And this is what they have to do. They just have to nod along and take it. It's really dehumanizing. There's one instance, and I've shared this story before, um, when I worked at Blockbuster, I don't remember specifically why this Karen was really mad at us, um, but she stood out to me because of how dumb she was. But she was mad that her kid had used her Blockbuster card to rent movies at a different Blockbuster location. And so um, she apparently didn't want anyone to rent. And so our policy is somebody can use your account to rent videos if their name is on your account or if they have your Blockbuster card. Now, her child did have the Blockbuster card, um, but for whatever reason, her card was used. And apparently, like somebody at my store had rented out the card to her kid. So she came in screaming at me and my coworker, calling us all the names in the book, called my coworker a cunt. I'm um, just screeching. And so when my coworker said, you can't keep talking to us this way, otherwise we're going to have you have to ask you to leave. Do you want to know what this Karen's response was? I can say anything I want to free speech. It's called the fifth amendment. I'll repeat that free speech. It's called the fifth amendment. Dumb motherfucker. First of all, doesn't know what free speech is because Free speech does not apply to private businesses. We can kick you off of our property if you're abusing us. But second of all, it's not the Fifth Amendment, obviously. You all know that. But like so confident, so stupid, and just being so nasty to us. And it's not like her kid rented movies and racked up a bunch of late fees because we could have possibly worked with her if we got permission from the manager to like get rid of those late fees. But she was just irate that her kid rented. It's like, call your fucking kid. So, I mean, this is what retail workers have to deal with and it's it really like it kind of taints your perspective of humanity like you get a little bit um not just doomer but what's the right word that i'm looking for misanthropic maybe or semi misanthropic right because it just makes you see the worst of what humanity has to offer and any retail worker ask them i dare you or fast food worker they're gonna have dozens of experiences like this where they just treat you like garbage and so like to see this woman yell at these people and threaten to call isis on them it's so gross and, and like think of the intent behind her threatening to call isis she's not just saying you know i'm gonna ma make you get fired that would be bad in and of itself but she's saying no, no no i want you kicked out of my country that's the implication she wants to destroy their life because i don't know they got an order wrong or something like that I mean, think of the entitlement, the insensitivity, the dehumanization of minimum, minimum wage workers who are just trying to get by. I want to check out some of these comments here. What I don't understand is why the people just sit there silent and record instead of sticking up for the innocent worker. This is the question that I have as well. But if Alexis, who did uh, share this video to uh, TikTok, wasn't an employee, then she did seemingly intervene. Um, over donuts. Exactly. I mean, like, is is it that serious to where you're going to ruin these workers' day for donuts? And look, we don't know what set her off, but regardless of what that was, it wasn't justified. It was not justified. She was treating them like completely shit. How is no one reacting? So, okay, I'm not alone in wondering how these folks, you know, didn't say something. I mean, look, it's not like the expectation is that, like, you... You fucking put her in a headlock. But just like saying, ma'am, stop. Okay, like that was rare. Like I had this drunk lady who was screaming at me when I worked at Subway. And when another uh, customer was like, ma'am, they're just kids. Stop. They make minimum wage. I remember that shit. That stuck with me. I really was thankful for that guy. Um, just because it's like, wow, that's one person that cares. That kind of views us as equals and not these like piss-ons who are just inferior, who are robots there to serve you. We're actually human beings, believe it or not. So, I mean, like, if you if you chime in, trust me, those minimum wage workers, they will never forget that because it never happens. So, yeah, um, we don't know anything about this lady, but what we do know is that she is a piece of shit. And I hope that since she's now going viral, she makes better life decisions, okay? 
We all, from time to time, say things that we don't mean. We all get angry in public. We all embarrass ourselves. But to go this far, to treat them like this, there's no excuse for that. I don't care what the circumstances were, okay? Short of like one of these employees murdering your dog, you have no right to speak to them that way. You have no right to speak to any other human being this way. So, fuck this person. Um, just a complete piece of garbage.